a parent dies, they want to leave a legacy to their children, so they decide to leave property. But that property becomes held up in probate for years. And siblings that hate each other, siblings that live different lives, are tied together through property, through an inherited property that will become a contentious disaster with lawyers, judges, and the court system as the mediator. Owning property ties you together with family or with loved ones. When there's a divorce, one of the most contentious tie breaks is who is going to own the property. The house that you raised your family in, now that becomes not an asset, not a blessing, but a big point of contention because both the husband and the wife have to break this tie, this property tie that even though psychologically, emotionally, they have divorced financially, the property ties them together. After a parent dies, they want to leave a legacy to their children, so they decide to leave property. But that property becomes held up in probate for years. And siblings that hate each other, siblings that live different lives, are tied together through property, through an inherited property that will become a contentious disaster with lawyers, judges, and the court system as the mediator. I saw this happen in my own family. I see this happening in other families. After the death of a loved one, you think there'd be a time of reflection, a time of unity, but funerals are the precursor to the probate disaster. A divorce is not finalized until a property is liquidated. I saw my parents get divorced and even once the property is allocated towards the one spouse or the other and the assets are divided, until that house is no longer in the picture, there's a tie, you know, because one spouse will come to the property and see that the property they worked on and the property that they shared together is now someone else's or it's just, it never ends until it's demolished. And then there's a scar that I built this house and now it's on the ground. You know, siblings fighting over an inheritance tied up in property. They just want the cash. I'm not saying it's all bad because look, I guess having anything to leave anyone is a blessing. And sometimes having equity and property restrains people from spending cash recklessly, but it ties people together. People that would not be together without the tie of money. I think the prodigal son would have never came home to his father if he didn't need money. I think, I think it all comes down to there's a reason you don't want people in your life. But, but when you are a co-owner of a piece of property and the only way to get your money out is to deal with them until you get it dissolved, it's a disaster. Liquid cash to me. It may get spent recklessly though and you may lose it. And that's you know something I think about. And again, I'm not saying never own property no matter what, but I'm saying that I've seen property hold people together that should never be together. That's my, my viewpoint, my experience. I think property is the ultimate soul tie. I know one guy in church, he used to go to church every Sunday, he's a good guy. I considered him a mentor at one time, good guy. He loved the Lord, good guy. Spoke in tongues. He dated a couple of girls from the church. He would get a hand job at the massage parlor, good guy though. But he used to say, Sam, you got to be very careful when you have sex because it's a soul tie. And that's a fair point. 
But I can tell you right now, a property, owning property together with someone else is the ultimate soul tie, soul crusher. You can't live a free life when you are on the deed with someone else. You can't because you, you, you're obligated, legally binding obligation. I, I despise property. I, I mean, I, I despise. Now, I, if you're going to own it, you got to own it by yourself. And it's got to be a small property. Am I, this is my opinion, okay? But I'll tell you right now, I, I, property is an anchor, man. A liability, a litigation nightmare. And property keeps you tied to other people. And I think that's the worst thing in life. To be obligated with someone else that you don't want to spend any more time with. You're done. But but selling property, liquidating property, especially when there's other people involved, takes a lot, months, years. Years out of your life, you'll never get that time back. You'll never get that time back. That's why, to me, I look at life, I don't want to waste a second. I don't want to waste a second on someone I no longer want in my life. Why? They're just a drain. Waste. Waste of your life. That's how I feel. Okay. Peace and love.